The Chovos of Ovas explains to us that wealth can be granted to a person for one of three reasons. He explains wealth is either a bracha, a blessing, a klala, a curse, or a nesoyan, or a test. And interestingly enough, he says, you can tell by the way the man uses the money exactly what he was given it for. If the man gains a newfound fortune, and because of that, he engages in great, great expenditures in this world. He buys himself a fancy house, a fancy boat. He decks himself out in every means of finery. You're looking at a man who's being cursed. He's using up his world to come. He's using up his olam haba in this world. The Chovah Zavav has explained to us that there are some times when Hashem wants to pay back a person in this world. Why? Because ultimately it's a curse. It's a terrible punishment. Hashem doesn't want him to have the ultimate reward. He'll give him some of that reward in this world. He'll use up his world to come in this world. If you see a man who becomes steeped in olam haze, in all the luxuries and etc., you're looking at a man who's cursed. If you see a man who's engaged in maintaining his money, if you see a man who now makes a fortune and instead of spending 8 hours a day in the office, he's now spending 12 or 14 because he has to figure out new ways to maintain his great wealth, he's looking for new ways to maintain his business, then you're looking at a man who's suffering in his sayon. Hashem is testing him, Hashem is giving him wealth to give him the single test, are you a gabai? Do you understand that your role is only to be the one to hold on to that money, to use it accordingly as you should, or do you think it's your money and you're the one who runs the world, you're being tested? On the flip side of this is, if you see a man who uses that money appropriately, now engages in community work, now engages in more learning, now uses the free time that he has to better serve Hashem, then you're looking at a man who's receiving a bracha. If Hashem grants a person great wealth, and because of that great wealth, he's better able to serve Hashem, he's better able to serve the Jewish nation, then that man is being given a bracha, he's able to earn his world to come, and at the same time have this world, and be able to accomplish much more. At the end of the day, that's the only simon bracha, and at the end of the day, that's the only true, proper use of wealth.